am in Franklin, Tennessee with Kelly. We are going to explore the historic downtown. They're doing their Dickens of a Christmas. But I just wanted to show you, if you were to come to Franklin during the time of the Dickens of a Christmas, the parking situation is intense. I think we got lucky someone was leaving after breakfast this morning, so we were able to snag a parking spot, but it is definitely a fighting to the death for a parking spot out here. <laughs> Located just 20 miles south of Nashville, Franklin, Tennessee has a beautifully preserved historic downtown with Victorian themed architecture, which lends itself to be the perfect backdrop for its Christmas festival, A Dickens of a Christmas, which is held every year the second weekend of December. So there's a lot of different vendors you can get your picture taken with some snow falling down, lots of different food trucks, so the smell in the atmosphere is definitely making Kelly and I hungry, so we are going to search for some food. I don't know if we'll do a food truck or a sit-down restaurant. There's so many options, but it's also very crowded and a lot of people, so we'll see. It's a lot of fun to see all the different characters that people have dressed up as for this festival. There's also a lot of great live entertainment and different local merchants which you can do your Christmas shopping or just shopping in general to support the local economy. Okay, we are on the, not wait list, is it a wait list? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, we're on the wait list for Ruby Sunshine. Ruby Sunshine, I was gonna say Ruby Slippers, but that's down at the golf. Yeah, slipper on the thing, so. Yeah, Ruby Sunshine <laughs> for brunch. Um, should be seated here in a few minutes, so excited. So hungry, smelling all this food. We might not have dinner tonight because we might have so much food on all these food trucks, food stands. So many different vendors out here. We just finished our brunch, which was so delicious. Um, we got the French toast bites as a starter <laughs> and shared an omelet. It was so good. And now we're just gonna walk that off and explore some more of the different vendors. It is starting to sprinkle on us. We're on borrowed time. I'm gonna check out a couple other vendors on the other side of the downtown area and then deadhead to the car because we didn't bring our umbrellas with us, just our rain jackets. This is the original manual version. A lot of different names for this. If you really want to get technical, what I'm doing here is not the glass harmonica. It's goblet style musical glasses. It's a lot more wordy, so I, I stick with glass harmonica. But 
my favorite name for this is the ghost fiddle. That was a ghost fiddle. Let's try one for you. How about this one? Just finished up exploring the different vendors and shops so it's definitely such a fun festival to go to there were so many different people dressed up as dickens characters even with some of the rain sprinkling uh, didn't inhibit us from having a good time uh, lots of people music dancing food and many different things to see and get your picture taken with so if you're ever in the Nashville Franklin area around the beginning of December when they do the Dickens of a Christmas. Come check it out. Very crowded, but a lot of fun.